Brian Malefe is one of the most established South Africans. He has had good breaks in his career that have seen him win several awards. He was appointed as the CEO of ESCOM, a position that he served for a few months before he resigned, following a scandal that befell him. Here is all you need to know about his life and accomplishments. Image Instagram.com at Billy Sigudler Source Ukbrian Malefe has had several careers. He served in the country's military, and he also has a significant spot in the country's list of entrepreneurs. He has received accolades during his reign as the business executive of several state-owned enterprises. He was appointed as the CEO of ESCOM, where he served for one year and seven months before he resigned. His resignation came after a scandal that he was involved in emerged. Brian Malefe biographer most people did not know him until he was appointed the CEO of ESCOM. Anyways, he resigned from the company before his term came to an end. There is so much about Brian Malefe that you might want to know. Therefore, this is his biography, read also, ESCOM needs 7 years to reach financial sustainability. How old is Brian Malefe? Brian was born in 1966. That in makes him 53 years old as of 2019. Brian Malefe family Malefe married the love of his life in December 2016. The name of Brian Malefe wife is Arathio Moagi. Brian Malefe qualifications Brian Moffield's position in his career was well deserved. He has a rich educational background that perfectly suited his position at work. He holds a Bachelor of Commerce degree from the University of South Africa. He also holds a postgraduate diploma in economics from the University of London. In addition, he holds a master's in business leadership. To crown it all, he also went through Harvard Business School and studied Advanced Management Program in 2006, Brian Malefe Awards in 2003. He was accorded the Financial Services Achiever Award for 2003. The Association of Black Securities and Investment Professionals gave this award to him. In 2004, he won the Investment Specialist of the Year Award. The Black Business Quarterly accorded the award to him. In 2007, he bagged the Empowerment Leadership Award during the WITS Business School, Barlow World Empowerment Awards that year. In 2008, he scooped the Institutional Investor for the year during the Africa Investor Investments Awards. Brian Malefe career Brian used to serve in the Army as a colonel. According to the spokesperson of the Defense Forces, Saifilwe de Lamini, Malefe was a member of the specialists whose responsibility was paid in auditing queries. As he served this position, Brian Malefe's salary was R5700 per month. Saifilwe de Lamini went further to report to the city press that Malefe was no experienced enough for the job. The paper went further say that he was further given the position of an honorary colonel in the South African Irish Regiment in 2009. The article termed his appointment as a ceremonial one. ESCOM scandal in April 2015, Brian Malefe received the appointment as CEO of ESCOM. He, however, served his position for one year and seven months. In November 2016, he resigned from his position. His resignation caused an uproar in the country. In his defense, he insisted that he had retired from being the ESCOM boss. According to a report by one of the media stations, his resignation is related to a revelation that former public protector Thule Madon Saylor had made. According to the State of Capture report by the public protector Thule Madon Saylor, the latter was linked with the Guptas. In retaliation, he insisted that he had chosen to take early retirement and that is the reason why he had to let go of the position. In his defense, Malefe said that he had issued a notice claiming that he would voluntarily step down from his position on 1 January 2017. He even went further to express his thoughts on the state of capture and said that Thule Madon Saylor did not treat him well. According to the state of capture report, he was in close contact with the Gupta family. Malefe however, defended himself saying that Thule Madon Saylor did not give him the chance to explain his relationship with the Gupta family. He termed the situation as a conflict of interest that happened to incline towards him. As he said this, 
Tez rolled down his eyes. The report alleged that Malefa had visited the Gupta family severally at their home in Saxonwald. This visit coincided with the time that the Gupta family, through the firm, Tej to firm, took to acquire Optimum coal mine. What caused the controversy is the prepayment that ESCOM had made to seal the deal. According to the report, ESCOM had made a payment of more than R600 million for coal. Malefe defended himself by saying that ESCOM was in dire need for the product. To cleanse his name from the scandal, he stated that he made sure that Madonsela had the documents explain the deal, but Madonsela did not make any point of inquiring for further details. He said, I do not think that the basis of what she, Thule Madonsela, says about Escom and myself is correct, Brian. Malefe Networth Image, Facebook.com, at Brian Malefe Support Source, UGCTHE Networth of Brian Malefe has not been compiled. However, there are some of his properties whose value can be estimated. An example is his home which is in value is an estimated R3.5 million. He also has a portfolio which contains 15 properties. The value of this portfolio is R33.5 million. Brian Malefe is one of the most influential people in the country. His contribution to the areas he served is appreciable. His departure from his positions in state-owned enterprises has caused mixed reactions among the people he interacted with. The biggest issue that he still faces is the ESCOM scandal that saw him resign out of office, even before the resignation date that had set. Read also, source, briefly.co.za let's blog ads. Why?